Today we're going to make a concrete planter that can water itself. I'm going to start by cutting some 2x8s to make a form for the concrete planter. I coated the 2x8s in wax to protect the wood. It also keeps the concrete from sticking to the mold. A heat gun or a hair dryer set to hot work well for spreading the wax around. Use 2x4s and 1x4s to make the center of the mold. And I wrap the center with two layers of bubble wrap. This is going to make it a lot easier to pull it out once the concrete is set. Once the mold was fully assembled, I sealed it up with wax and a heat gun. I used Quickcrete 5000 for this project. It's a readily available mix that performs quite well. I used the stick to push the concrete down into all the corners. Let the concrete cure about two to three days before removing the mold. The great thing about these molds is that they're reusable. Just scrape off a little bit of the concrete residue and uh, you're ready to go again. With the concrete part done, I was now ready to make the bottle holder. I cut two pieces of 2x6. And then drilled a 1 and 1 8 inch hole in one and a 1 and 1 quarter inch hole in the other. These holes may change depending on the diameter of the bottle's neck. I then glued and screwed the two pieces of wood together. I wanted to make sure that the bottle holder wouldn't slide off the top of the planter, so I screwed on a couple strips of wood that would keep it from sliding off. I then sanded the bottle holder smooth and applied a coat of BioShield countertop finish. To make the watering apparatus, I drilled a hole in a cork and shoved a piece of quarter inch copper tubing into it. I can control how much water comes out of the tube by drilling holes into it and if I let too much water out, I can always put a crimp in the tubing to slow down the flow of the water. It may take you a few tries before you get it just right. For more detailed instructions, check out my website and be sure to follow me on social media.